water, one of nature's most effective coolants. The more turbulent the water becomes, the more efficiently it cools. The best way to create turbulence is by the simple expedience of changing water into a spray. This principle of turbulence is the basis of a proven system for cooling electric arc furnaces. A system that not only cools more efficiently, but is also safer to operate, reduces downtime, and is easier to maintain. This innovative method of furnace cooling is found only in the system spray cool equipment for furnaces. Systems that are currently increasing uptime and improving productivity worldwide. From Utah to West Germany, from Greece to Japan. The key to the efficiency of the system's spray cool equipment is its unique design. A series of sprays thoroughly covers the area to be cooled. The turbulence created by these sprays transfers heat more efficiently at atmospheric pressure than conventional methods do at high pressure. By making extensive use of the latest CAD CAM technology, systems design engineers have created equipment that is elegant in its simplicity. It is also a system that is readily customized to fit virtually any application. Whether the application is for a furnace roof, sidewall, delta, elbow, or duct. The cooling is accomplished in the same highly efficient manner. In fact, spray cooling is so versatile that systems engineers believe they have only just begun to identify applications. They actively encourage you to share your needs and ideas with them. Your contributions are often the beginning of new applications and solutions. The simplicity and flexibility of the system's spray cool equipment provides several important advantages to the user. These advantages are best seen in the design of a spray cool furnace roof. The simplified design improves furnace safety. Low water volume at low pressure greatly reduces the effect of a leak. The water in system spray cool equipment for a furnace roof is at atmospheric pressure and the water flow is 3.5 gallons per minute per square foot. In the simulation of a leak through a two square inch hole, it can be seen that the water escaping is just a trickle, approximately three gallons per hour, which would quickly be converted to steam by the heat of the furnace. Contrast that with a typical flood cool system with its water under a pressure of 60 pounds per square inch and a flow of 16,000 gallons per hour it is clear that the lower volume of water at atmospheric pressure greatly increases the margin of safety. The roof's one-piece construction also contributes to greater safety. It minimizes flame and emission leakage while vents in the roof prevent pressure buildup. Simplicity of design results in a system that is easy to maintain and that translates into lower maintenance cost. Numerous access ports make visual inspection and preventative maintenance fast and easy. Each spray bar is close at hand and snaps in and out quickly for inspection or installation. If a leak occurs, the non-pressurized design allows for easy weld to patch repair. Furnace delta ring replacement is also simplified. Because the delta ring is not water cooled, Replacement is easier and the risk of leaks around the ring is eliminated. The delta ring becomes a low cost refractory form and greatly increases refractory life. There is little need to replace components in system spray cool equipment. The spray actually creates a scrubbing action that cleans as it cools. This action combined with stainless steel components and an effective filtering system virtually eliminates scale buildup and corrosion even in the harshest production environments. Dale Tricardin, support engineer at the Tempkin Company in Canton, Ohio, has first-hand experience with the clean, low-maintenance operation of system spray cool equipment. We don't have to buy spare parts for this roof. We have uh, spray bars in it, and the spray bars can be changed out. 
We have access ports to get to any spray bar we want, and there's six nozzles to each spray bar. Uh, and we can change them out on the fly. I don't see any need for changing them out right now because we go through a strainer and then everything is stainless. So we don't have to build up a scale. Uh, the spray bars have been working out. We've inspected them and they're clean as a rifle barrel so far. Operation of the system spray cool equipment saves sufficient money in many ways. There is no need for an inventory of replacement panels and the few other parts used in the system are readily available. Costly maintenance time is reduced and that means greatly reduced downtime. Another benefit of spray cooling. Because components are easy to reach and inspect, maintenance can be scheduled at your convenience. And because of the non-pressurized design, most repairs can also be postponed until the furnace is offline. Even when performed during production, Repairs can be accomplished quickly with easy weld patch techniques. Because the system spray cool roofs for furnaces are non-pressurized and non-flooded, the weight of the roofs are greatly reduced. A 23-foot spray cool roof weighs only 20,750 pounds. The lighter weight extends uptime by reducing wear and tear on the gantry and other key components. Those same factors, light weight, erosion resistance, reliability and durability also extend the service life of both the spray cool roof and the entire furnace system. Experience with system spray cool equipment operating in plants around the world indicates a typical life of 10,000 heats or more with only minimal maintenance. Spray cooling also improves furnace efficiency. The superior cooling results in excellent slag retention. The slag then acts as insulation retaining more heat within the furnace. Spray cooled roofs already in place exhibit an increase of less than 1% energy consumption when compared to refractory roofs. Improved safety. Reduced downtime. Lower maintenance cost better working conditions, greater productivity. These are very real benefits derived from system spray cool equipment at plants around the world. This is the Nucor steel plant in Plymouth, Utah. Nucor began operations here in 1981 with two 15-foot, 70-ton electric arc furnaces. The original roofs and sidewall cooling systems were baffle box panels. Pipe panels were installed in the sidewalls in 1984. In 1986, the decision was made to replace the baffle panel roofs, and Nucor Steel turned to spray cooling. They were impressed with the safety features of the system's non-pressurized spray cool equipment and the potential for reduced downtime and lower maintenance cost. The first step was to install a new system spray cooled roof and exhaust stack. This was done on furnace number one in June of 1987. The system proceeded to operate for 4,919 heats over 12 months with only very minor maintenance. Mel Parrish, maintenance manager, relates his experience with that first spray cooled roof. The major benefits of the spray cooled roof system has been the safety factor involved with the, the water. There are no thermocouples on the roof to, uh, to worry about. We have one temperature gauge that shows what the whole system is running and there has been much less maintenance downtime as opposed to the old baffle style panels. We at uh, in the past had probably been spending around 30 hours a month making repairs to water leaks on hoses, valves, etc. And being that there are no valves or hoses on these roof panels, that's down to zero. We see none of those problems in this type of a system. Because of the success Nucor has had with roofs, they next turned their attention to spray cool sidewalls with some very gratifying results. 
The first spray cool side wall system was installed in June of 88. After two years of operating experience with spray cooled roofs and over one year with side walls, downtime was reduced from six hours per furnace per month to less than two. Maintenance downtime was reduced from 30 man hours per month to approximately two man hours. The performance was no surprise to new core management. But there was an added bonus. Eliminating the inside panels increased furnace performance by increasing scrap volume. Dan D'Amico, melt shop superintendent, talks about Nucor's first installation. The first spray cool sidewall system installed on our number one furnace has performed as we expected. It is both a safe, much safer furnace to operate and the maintenance on it has been essentially zero. We have had a total of 30 minutes downtime in one year of operation. Based upon the excellent results with the first sidewall system installed on number one furnace, we've decided to purchase a second sidewall system for our number two furnace. Um, this was installed in June of 1989, and uh, in that installation, we've decided to change the, the design of the sidewall system to a split shell system to facilitate our maintenance work. In Athens, Greece, the key word is productivity. Vasilios Salopatis, managing director of the Heloniki Helavorgia plant, explains how his spray cooled roof has increased productivity. The first advantage is increased uptime of the furnace. A change of the delta section takes far shorter time than that of a conventional refractory roof and the interval between changes is substantially longer. Second, we have improved safety on the furnace. There is no pressurized water in the roof to possibly enter the furnace in the case of a leak in the roof. Although I must say we have had no such problem for the time being. The third advantage is uh, substantially lower maintenance cost. Refractory consumption has been minimized. The labor for roof, roof replacement and roof relining has been reduced by a factor of 20. And mechanical maintenance is virtually unnecessary. A fourth advantage is improved working conditions on the furnace. The crew that have to perform the operations of adjustment and of replacement of electrodes on the roof now walk over a cool metallic surface instead of the very hot refractory roof they had under the feet until the end of last year. Finally, uh, the efficiency of the furnace it has been enhanced. It is now possible to operate at higher energy inputs without the fear of extensive damage to the refractory lining. This results in higher productivity, which is probably the biggest gain from the use of the spray-cooled roof. These are only some of the numerous operations around the world that have discovered what can be achieved with system spray-cooled roofs, deltas, sidewalls, ducts, and elbows. Improved safety. Reduced downtime. Lower maintenance costs improved working conditions, and greater productivity. All of these benefits have grown out of one simple idea, that turbulent water cools more efficiently. Systems Spray Cooled Equipment